fellow students. I hope you are having a wonderful week. Um, I'm making you new videos. So this is art class with Mrs. Pelican without Mrs. Pelican, but with Mrs. Pelican. So welcome. We are going to talk more about what we did last week with our lines and our dots and our circles. We're going to use a project because this is what all of art and life around us is made out of. So it's kind of important. So here's the project. We've got our blank paper. We're going to take a crayon. Not just any crayon, it has to be a light colored crayon. Okay, we're going to use our crayon and hold it kind of firmly because we want to press on the paper firmly. We're going to start by making one line from somewhere on your page, a straight line, all the way across somewhere else on your page. Oh, there we go, just like that. Now yours can go another way, that's okay. Then we're going to do the same thing. Another line all the way across your page. Okay, two lines. Easy peasy. Now we're going to do a third line, but this one is not straight. This one is curvy. This one is loopy. You can loop this curly line however you want to. The only rule is that it has to start on one side and end on the other. Ta -da! Now we're going to make three circles. Your circles can be medium sized circles. They can be small circles or they can be big circles. They can even go off the page. I just broke my crayon. Don't cry if your crayons break. Oh, that's sad. All right, that's okay. Now we're going to make one zigzaggy line. How does a zigzaggy line go? It goes zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. Yes. Okay. And I think just for fun, we're going to make a blob. Remember our blobs? They kind of look like fidget spinners or splashy puddles. All right, I've made a blob. There's my blob. Ta-da! All right, now I have my lines. I've got lines and circles and dots. Maybe it looks like a party or like a funny shirt that your Aunt Susan might wear. I don't know. Next, we are going to paint. All right, we have talked about color and talked about color. Now we're going to continue to work with color. You can make choices here. All I'm asking is that you do your best to put colors just inside each different line group. So, watch this. I'm gonna fill this circle right in here blue. All right, oh, I filled that in blue. And because it's crayon, it should show through, but if you'll notice, it only really kind of showed through. I'm gonna take a different shade of blue, and I'm gonna put it over here. Oh, needs more water. If you ever feel kind of dry on your brush, just add more water and it's gonna help you move all the way around it. There we go. There's my thing. There we go. And maybe your crayons will be more successful at resisting the paint. This one's being a little bit less than successful. Give me some yellow. All right, I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to start another video that is stop motion so you can see this all happen really fast. Okay? Peace out. Love ya. My camera ran out of storage before uh, the time-lapse video finished, but here it is. Here's the finished project. Um, my yellow crayon didn't do all that great at resisting. Maybe if you try using um, oil pastels, it'll work stronger. Maybe my crayon wasn't fabulous. From here, if you'd like to, you can go in and add some textures, some straight lines or some curvy lines um, to this. As a matter of fact, maybe I will show you right here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 